Hey there, welcome to the ICOM R8500 and R20 channel. And uh, this is a multi-part series where we're going to show you how to hook up your um, ICOM ICR8500 and also your ICOM R20 to your computer for computer control. First things first, uh, most computers today don't have serial ports anymore so one of the things that you will probably want unless you have an old computer or an old tower with serial ports is to um, first of all get yourself a USB to serial adapter so this is the USB to serial adapter this particular one is made by Manhattan so if you uh, Google Manhattan and um, USB to serial <coughs> you will uh, come across the uh, adapter depending on where you'll buy it is anywhere from about uh, 10 to 20 dollars and um, it might be available if you have uh, electronic stores around uh, you might want to go and see if they have it in stock here I've uh, bought this one on eBay but um, there's a uh, electronic surplus store here not very far from where I live and they actually have one in stock uh, they sell it for $20 um, so the uh, serial to USB adapter uses a chip that is a PL2303 that's Papa Lima 2303 um, one of the problems that I've actually come across with all of these adapters is they all use the same chip inside all of them use the PL2303. I know there are some variants of the chip, uh, but basically they all use pretty much the same chip. Um, the problem that I've encountered is that if you're operating a 64-bit operating system, so Windows Vista, Windows uh, 7, 64 bits, uh, it kind of has a very buggy 64-bit driver. And actually, in 64-bit versions of Windows, I've uh, had lots of problems really getting it to work without freezing up. And basically what happens is, in 64-bit machines, you um, actually are controlling the radio. And what happens is that your radio control freezes up, so you can't control the radio anymore. And uh, so that is the first part. You do need a USB to serial adapter. And of course, to complete it, um, you will need also a uh, standard, what we call AB. Cable, USB cable. So you have the USB connector here and you have your um, extension here. I'm sorry, this is not in um, AB. Uh, AB is for printers. Uh, this is really an extension. It's like a uh, USB extension cord. So um, if your adapter comes only with this little piece here, you will need to buy a little extension cord that's available pretty cheap. These are basically a few dollars. And uh, so that you can extend and have enough USB wire to actually extend it all the way. So first you'll get this USB to serial adapter then you will get the USB cable that is the minimum requirement now two things if you are controlling a ICOM ICR8500 because this is what we call a DB9 and the radio as what we have uh, we, we call a DB25 the serial port of the ICOM 8500 is here this is a 25 pin so you've seen I put a 25 to 9 adapter here uh, so this is one way of doing it <clears throat> the other way of doing it is you have this little hole I don't know if you can see it well here this little hole right next to it this is a CI5 or CIV connector so you can also use a CIV cable 
to control your radio. I prefer using the RS232 input of the radio because it's there and it works really well. So keep in mind you might need first of all a DB25 to DB9 adapter. If you have a laptop or a very new brand new computer that does not have serial ports you will need a serial to USB adapter so you can buy it online or maybe you can find it at an electronic store close to you and uh, of course a USB extension cable so that you can control your radio and have enough wire, enough loose in the wire to actually uh, put your uh, computer uh, a little farther away from the radio. So this is the basic setup for the ICOM IC, uh, R, um, ICR-8500. Uh, if you want to control the ICOM ICR20 there's a little twist that you will need to find and it's the special ICOM ICR20 cable and here is what it looks like you've got this DB9 plug and it has two wires actually that go out from it and here are the two wires one is for the computer control, the other one is for the audio. Because if you look at the ICOM ICR20, your CIV connector is right here. And basically the CIV or CI5 connector is actually the same connector that you have on the R8500 right here. It uses the same cable. So you can, if you have both radios like I do, uh, you can actually <coughs> control your receiver with only one wire. All you need to do is buy this little adapter here with the two plugs at the end. So this is what is called a CIV adapter for ICOM radios. It's pretty much universal. So this cable actually works with many many other models of ICOM radios because the CIV connector is almost universal among ICOM radios but keep in mind you still need serial to USB if your computer does not have a serial port so that's the first thing you need if you have an ICOM ICR8500 you need either a DB 25 to DB9 adapter you need a serial to USB adapter you need an extension USB cable if you have an ICOM ICR20 you'll actually need the ICOM CIV cable which is a DB9 at one end and two little 1.8 plugs at the other end one is for audio one is for the data connection and uh, you can actually replace the um, DB25 to the DB9 with the extension here if you're actually using this cable it works also with the ICOM uh, ICR8500 so depending on how you're gonna plug it either serial with the 25 pin serial at part uh, keep in mind that it works really well uh, one word of caution if you have an ICR20 do not use if you want to control your radio you cannot use the very nice little uh, adapter which is a mini USB here this is only for transferring memory and audio in and out of your radio it does not work in controlling the radio itself which is unfortunate because I would have enjoyed having a mini DB uh, mini USB port which is much easier to find actually because it's the same as probably your um, digital camera it's exactly the same wire so if you wanna <coughs> plug your radio to extract the memories or uh, write memories or extract the audio uh, don't go out and buy special ICOM cable you can actually use probably the same cable you have on your 
um, digital camera or uh, even maybe on your cell phone some cell phones actually have mini USB like that so that's how you start up then we'll have now another video showing you um, what settings that you need to put or what you need to actually look at before controlling your uh, radios and here is where everything is going to uh, separate because now I've uh, included both R20 and 8500 in this video uh, from now on each control radio control stuff will have its own uh, video so uh, we'll have a path for videos for the R20 and a path of videos for the R8500 uh, with computer control so they hope it helps hope you understood um, what you need and what you need to get to actually control your radios and if you have any comments or questions let us know if you have any uh, requests or um, any anything you want to uh, tell me or ask hey let, let, let your uh, keyboard talk we need to um, we love to have comments and so uh, keep in mind that you have only two ways of plugging your radio if it's an ICOM ICR20 the ICOM <coughs> CIV cable which is a special cable or if you have an ICOM a ICR8500 little uh, DB9 here DB25 to DB9 little extension wire for USB and uh, if your computer is pretty new or if you have a laptop you will need in both cases this serial to USB adapter available online and on uh, in many electronic stores so that's the basic let's uh, look at other videos if you want to continue on you just look at the other videos where we will show you how to actually uh, hook up the radios and control them uh, and uh, we'll actually look at some uh, different software for hooking, uh, hooking up your radios also uh, so you'll have an idea about um, a few pieces of software that are available for controlling your radios so hope you enjoy these videos uh, and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask it's uh, there's no dumb questions um, if you didn't understand something let me know I will try to answer your questions so thanks for watching 73's